Today we're taking a look at something I get a lot of questions about. How to set up your antenna for the best possible reception. Here's my kind of top five tips to get that done. Um, antennas are awesome. They give a ton of free content, but they can take a little bit of work to set up the first time. Not much, especially if you know what to do. So let's dive in here. Now, first of all, right off the bat, let me make this clear. If you don't get, if the reception's not there, no matter what intent you buy, what you do, you're just not going to get it. When I first became a cord carter, I lived in a valley 60 plus miles from the closest transmitter, and I just didn't get over there because I was in a mountainous region, far from a major city, in a valley for my wife's job was where we were living. Um, now where I live, I get every network but NBC inside. ABC is so strong a paperclip could probably do it, um, but. NBC is just kind of a weak reception where I live. Uh, I had to go with an um, outdoor antenna. I put it in my attic and ran it down to the house to get NBC. And it does a really good job with all the others. And it does mean that when weather is really bad or other things, it doesn't seem to affect. I don't get any effect from the other channels. So go to antennarecommendations.com. That's antennarecommendations.com. I'll link to it in the show notes on the bottom of this YouTube video. And Put your address in there. It will show you what antennas or what channels an indoor antenna will give you and what channels an outdoor antenna will give you. It's important to know the difference. I know some people are lucky enough to live in an area where a paperclip gives them everything they want. They just put a little paperclip in the back of your TV. But for most Americans, that's just not reality. You're not going to get all the channels that way. So before you dive in this, before you buy antenna, um, preferably, check out antennarecommendations.com. There will even be a Google map that will show you where the transmitting towers are around you for each network. That way you can know, you know, the ABC I'm struggling to get, and that's on the north side of my home, so maybe I'm going to try to put the antenna on the north side facing north. So check that out, antennarecommendations.com, 100% free. Now let's dive into things to avoid. Right off the bat, metal. Metal is the enemy of over-the-air TV. Now the new 3.0 standard says they're going to be better about this. It's going to have better penetration of many different building materials. But for now with current over the air um, TV, metal is what you want to avoid. Now this gets a lot of people because they put their outdoor antennas or they mount their TV on their chimney and then they put their antenna against the chimney. The problem with that is most modern um, chimneys have metal in them. They put a metal lining in there to help prevent fires and other um, issues. The so it's important to know that you know maybe move away from your uh, fireplace if at all possible. Um, also look around you. You know what is? Do you have a metal outdoor uh, shed directly behind your TV? You know many people's living rooms are face an outside wall, and I've heard people before say I'm not getting anything. I moved away from where my shed was, laying up against the house, and I got reception. Probably because that reception, that metal shed was blocking it. So kind of be aware of what's around you um, and do your best to avoid um, common areas of metal like fireplaces and so on. The number one or number two, I should say, thing I recommend is, and this is probably my number one recommendation, but it's number two on my list, is avoid other electronics. Uh, a lot of people are just try to hide their antenna behind the TV. Uh, which, you know, if you got strong signal, is fine. But if you're having trouble picking up a, st a station, try to move it away from computers, TVs, because there's metal in them. Two, when they're running, they create kind of a magnetic field, the power, everything. I know it's not really magnetic field, but just play along here for a minute. Um, that seems to block TVs, uh, reception over the air. So, People who, for instance, I've heard people mounting antennas on the back of their TV, it's probably not the best way to do it. Now, if you got one of those flat antennas, put it up against the wall, not mounted on the back of the TV if at all possible. Things to do. My number one recommendation here is go high. Um, now, yeah, you may, if you live in an area with strong signal, you may get reception in a basement. I briefly lived in a basement when I was between homes. Uh, and I had an antenna down there and it did work for a few of the more powerful channels. But what I ended up doing was putting an antenna up in an upstairs bedroom um, and I uh, connected a tab low to it and streamed down and I got 30 channels as opposed to four um, because the higher you go, the fewer things that are blocking your um, reception. Ground blocks it, 
um, cars and so forth. So the higher you go, the better reception is. Uh, Tableau uh, DVRs, Channel Master, um, all kinds of ones can be an option to stream it. Uh, Watch Air, Air, um, the Air antenna from Mohu that's coming out, and others are great options too for Wi-Fi. I really like the idea of putting an antenna in a bedroom window, connecting it to the Wi-Fi, and going out. I'll link to some of those on um, the uh, show notes down below that talk more about those new antennas with Wi-Fi in them. I think they're really helpful for anybody to be able to just put the antenna as high up as possible and get it away from any metal or other electronics. Get an amplifier. Again, this kind of goes back to, this is something, I'm assuming if you're here reading this, you're probably having a hard time picking up one or two stations. Uh, if you're one of the lucky people who can get um, everything with a paperclip, awesome. For other people, an amplifier may help clear up weak signals. Now, an amplifier is not a magic wand. It's not going to magically pull in signals that you can't get now. Where amplifiers really excel at is when you have a station that's just a little pixelated at times, It every now and then comes and goes and so forth, that's where I find amplifiers are an excellent way to um, be able to clean up your TV signal. And my last tip is get an amplified splitter. If you're somebody who wants to connect multiple TVs to one antenna, you can find these at pretty much any store, Amazon. I'll link to one in the show notes down below. But it basically takes one antenna cable and splits it out into two or three. And these are great if, for instance, you're tapping into your current cable wiring, you wanna split it up between the different parts of your home. The thing about an amplified splitter is your ability to easily um, go out. You can buy unpowered ones, unamplified splitters. And again, if you have a really strong signal, it's great. But every time you split your signal, you decrease the power of that signal and the image quality. Um, for people with weaker signals, that's going to really quickly show up. And that's going to really quickly become an issue. If you have very strong or if you have weaker signal, where you will notice that quick more quickly. So that's my number one recommendation is the Amplify splitters I find typically are best, even if you have strong signals. Um, but again, your situation may vary. As always... But uh, please remember that your situation will be different. Go to antennarecommendations.com, hopefully before you even buy an antenna, so that you can go out there and find all of the tips and tricks um, you know, that you need to get. Do you need indoor? Do you need outdoor? And guides like this to help you get the most out of your antenna. So questions, comments, let me know. If you have questions about cord cutting, whether it be your over-air um, antenna or streaming services, check out cordcuttersnews.com. And every Wednesday at 8 p.m. right here on our YouTube channel, we do an hour-long Q&A show where you can join us, leave us a comment, leave us a question about anything cord cutting related, and we will do our best to answer your cord cutting related questions. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Just search for at Core Cars News. And please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if this helped you. Hopefully, our goal is to help you get the most out of your cord cutting experience.